Pala, which is the name of my pottery practice, means father in Tibetan. Aside from it being a connection to my pottery practice is a very specific link that I have with my father. I was kind of lost and my mom is the one who thought you should go take a ceramics class. She kind of reminded me that my father was a potter. I ended up going to the pottery studio that my dad had been at by like the grace of this this kind of like meeting in clay space. It was really lovely. <laughs> There's something really incredible in um, Heath Ware, which is the weight of the pieces. There's a really nice weight to them. The clay body they use and the, and the glaze, the combination of those two, there's like a very tactile feeling that's really lovely. And I'm realizing this now, I mean, with the Heath pieces that I have, is that you can easily create ritual around those. So the fact that the larger platters only come out when you have dinner parties, that becomes like a bit of a ritual, or that you have a favorite coffee mug that you use every morning. And so so it slowly like infuses this very maybe banal conventional object into something a little bit more heightened. I am born and raised in Oakland, first generation Oaklander American. I do a lot of walking around Oakland and so I feel like on ceramics I'm very inspired by other people's color choices. My phone is just snapshots of like people's houses, the cars, I feel like everyone's got like some splash. There's like bling and you know, like the front yard. And I think that's what I like the most is mixing and matching these things. Something that I call harmonious clashing. <laughs> Ceramics is the thing that you spend all this time doing it and then it comes out of the oven and you have this beautiful thing that you've made and there's this kind of like, oh, you little cake, you like a little jewel. 